Hey y'all, what's up? What's poppin'? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get ready for my retightening appointment. And I did try the apple cider vinegar rinse for the first time. And yeah, one of the requirements of my lock consultant is that you must have clean hair and it's totally understandable. So nobody wants to be in some dirty hair. So go ahead and wash your hair before your retightening appointment. The first thing I like to do is go in and loosen up any dandruff that I have because y'all know I get dry, itchy scalp and it's just a whole mess. So I like to go in and loosen that up. I am really loving this tea tree shampoo by Giovanni. What's up Giovanni? Send your girl some PR. <laughs> I have a new shampoo that I try as well. And well, I actually haven't tried it as a shampoo. I tried it as a body wash, but I'm going to share that with y'all in another video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit of apple cider vinegar with water and the shampoo because I'm going to do like a pre-wash just to y'all. I got a lot of hair. Number one, y'all know the struggle is real. So I just want to basically get the apple cider vinegar on my scalp first because the way my sink is made, as you can see, like, I really hate these things. Like, I wish we had bowl sinks in my bathroom, but anyway, we don't. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I like to get it on my scalp first, and then that way, um, I can just really focus on the ends. I did add some fresh lemon. I think I added the whole lemon. Lemon juice, um, or you could use an essential lemon oil, whatever. I think I saw this on YouTube somewhere, and I wanted to try it. So I did half a cup of apple cider vinegar and make sure you use the apple cider vinegar that has the mother. Actually, I used one cup. I lied. And I just filled my sink up with water and I added the baking soda right before I got ready to put my hair in there. And it made like this bubbly sensation and it was bomb. <laughs> I think this is what people like really like and you can actually feel it on your scalp um you can feel it and that's like really satisfying but like i said the way my sink is made um you know i didn't really get parts of my scalp but i did make sure that i got all of my hair and as y'all can see my hair is so dense oh my goodness so with this rinse, I will say that the apple cider vinegar really tingled my scalp and it was very similar to the um, protein treatment that I used that time. So I read somewhere and then I think one of my subscribers also told me that the protein treatment and the apple cider vinegar kind of works the same when it comes to your scalp. I know the apple cider vinegar um, helps decrease any um inflammation but here you go here's a before and an after of the apple cider vinegar and y'all i really didn't see a difference but you guys can be the judge so then i moved to the kitchen i do not like to wash my hair in the sink especially since i have locks now because i just feel like my hair just does not get as clean um i did feel like i had a little residue left from the baking soda i like to wash my hair in the shower but um for video purposes i just try to go ahead and wash it in the sink i need to get a new tripod so i could um because my tripod is only like four feet so i need to get a bigger one so that i can start getting some shots in the shower but anyway go ahead and just towel blot my hair I skipped the part where I used the blow dryer because I'm going to show you guys that in another video. I got some sister like videos coming for y'all. Y'all better subscribe, okay? Go ahead and subscribe now. And here I'm just doing a link check. I'm coming up on my two-year lockversary. And if y'all been with me since the beginning, y'all know where I started. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and braid my hair out. Um, I tried this for the first time. And I actually like the results having, you know, my style right after i get my um retightening but anyway that's pretty much it all right y'all okay so i am back and i just got back from my retightening appointment and it's hot in Louisiana right now and it's just March the 6th. But anyway, I just got back from my retirement appointment and I'm just gonna be honest about the apple cider vinegar and baking soda. 
rinse i felt like the baking soda left a little bit of residue and just a little bit because when i was blow drying my hair it felt kind of gummy but it doesn't feel like that now but i am gonna wash my hair probably sunday but anyway um next time i probably won't use the baking soda i'll probably just use apple cider vinegar and water and that's it and i'll probably do a three to one ratio because it doesn't smell great at all i didn't really see i didn't really see a big difference in the before and after you know how everybody has like these crazy insane uh before and after pictures but i don't put a lot of products in my hair at all so my hair isn't dirty as i thought it was but i do a really good job but anyway guys my consultant counted my locks today as a gift for my two-year lock anniversary and y'all clutch y'all pearls okay i have 590 locks 590 locks that is insane so we talked about possibly combining uh some of the locks but she said something that's gonna have to be planned out so i'm just like you know whatever whatever you decide that's that's great with me but yeah so to answer the big question and i'm gonna put this in my description box i might even put it in my bio 590 locks because that is a question that i get asked so much so now y'all know i have 590 locks which is a whole lot of locks on this big old head but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch y'all in my next video.